welcome to another episode of Homework with Ms. Thomas. I am Ms. Thomas, and today we will be exploring Lesson 4, Homework, and Module 3. The objective is to interpret and represent patterns when multiplying by 10, 100, and 1,000 in arrays and numerically. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so for this work, we're going to draw place value discs and arrows to show and to represent each product. So we're multiplying here by 10 or by 100 or by 1,000. We need to model it and also solve it. So for this example, we have 5 times 10. That's 5 ones times 10. And that equals 50, which is 5 tens. So we can see here in the example that they have 5 ones they drew an arrow, above the arrow they put times 10, because when, or, you know, when you multiply times 10, it goes to the next unit, so they're showing you this is, this five ones is now five tens because you multiplied it times 10. So for number one, we have seven times 100. So I'm gonna put seven in the ones because that's seven ones. Seven ones. I have one group of seven. Let's circle that. And they want us to multiply times 100, which is times 10 and times 10, right? 100 is times 10 two times. So I'm going to do times 10. That will put seven in the tens. But since we're doing times 100, it would be times 10 again. So we've moved two place values. So 7 times 100 is 700. That's 7 times 10 times 10, which is 700. Or we could say that we did seven ones times 100, which is seven hundreds. Notice here, this is the unit form, the standard form, I'm sorry. And this here is the unit form. All right, for number two, we're doing seven times 1,000. So, we're going to start again with the seven, which is seven ones. We're doing that times ten, which would be seven tens. So I'm just moving that seven to the tens, and then times ten again, making seven hundreds. Oops, I've done too many there. But then it's going to be times 10 again. So I'm going to move to the thousands. And another way we can keep that, keep in, or, you know, see how many times we're doing times 10, this has three zeros. So that will be three tens. We're do, or three times we're doing three tens. So that is 7,000. Seven times 10 times 10 times 10 is 7,000. Or we can say we did seven ones times 1,000, which is seven thousands. Okay, here we're going to fill in the blank. So for A, I'm doing eight times 10, that's 80. Notice how there's one zero here and one zero in the answer. So really I'm doing eight times one to get this eight and adding one zero because I have one zero that I'm multiplying between the two of these numbers. 
Next, we have some number blank times 8 equals 800. Well, that would be 100, right, because this has two zeros. So I'm doing 8 times 1 with two zeros, which is 100. Um, here for C, we have 8,000 equals blank times 1,000. That would be 8 times 1,000 equals 8,000. For D, we're doing 10 times 3, that's 30. 3 times blank equals 3,000, that's 1,000. Blank times 3 equals 100, that's 100. 1,000 times 4 is 4,000. Blank equals 10 times 4, so that's 40. 400 equals blank times 100, that's 4 times 100 equals 400. Let's go on to number four. Right. We're going to do the same thing. We're using place value. Represent there are a couple ways we can do this. We could do 15 ones, right? 15 ones equals 15. We could also do 110 and five ones. That equals 15. So I'm going to do this first one as 15 ones. And then for this number five, I'll show you with 110 and the one separate. So you can see how we're, we'll end up at the same spot. First, do 15 ones. So I'm going to put 15 in the ones place. Let's circle this to show that this whole thing is going to be moving. They want us to do this times 10. So I'm going to move all 15. To the tens. Now, when I have this 15 tens, I can bundle here. If I have 10, I can bundle. So I'm going to bundle up 10. And move that 10 to the hundreds. 10 tens equals 100. So now I have 100 and five tens and no ones. So what is 15 times 10? It is 150. Another way to think of this as is 110 and five ones, which would be this 110, same thing we did before, times 10, it's going to go up to the next place value. So that will be 100, which is what we got in the end. The five ones times 10 is going to go up to the next place value, which is five tens. Now for number five, let's show this as 110 and seven ones. I'm going to multiply this by 100. I know that when I multiply times 100, that's times 2, 2 times. That's times 10 times 10. So I'm going to move this two spaces, and above that I'm going to put times 100. I could have put times 10 times 10, but I'm going to put times 100. The 1 is going to stay the same. It's just going to move two spaces. Here we have the 7 ones that we're also multiplying times 100. So it's going to move two spaces. So we have 1,000. Seven hundreds, no tens and no ones, which is 1,700 or 1,700. So 17 times 10 times 10 is 
seventeen hundredths or one thousand seven hundred. We could say that this is 110 times 100. Remember, we moved that two spaces. We got 1,000. And the seven ones, when we moved it two spaces, we got seven hundreds. On to number six. Okay, this time we're doing 36 times 1,000. So I'm going to put three in the tens and six in the ones. You could have put 36 in the um, ones as well. Okay, so I'm moving this three spaces because 1,000, three zeros, or 10, or times 10, times 10, times 10. So I'm gonna move this three spaces. And I'm also gonna move this three spaces. Notice how I'm putting 1,000 above the arrow so that I know that's what I'm doing. So I have three ten thousands, six thousands, no hundreds, no tens, and no ones, making 36,000. 36 times 10 times 10 times 10 is 36,000. Three tens times 1,000 is three ten thousands. Six ones times 1,000 is six thousands. Or we could have said 36,000. That would also work. Okay, on to number seven. Okay, for number seven, we are decomposing each multiple of 10, 100, and 1,000. So I'm gonna focus on the multiple that is times 10. So for seven, we're doing two times 80. That 80 is times 10, right? I'm looking for the zero, right? 80 is eight times 10. So two times 80 is two times eight times 10. I can merge or multiply two times eight. That's how they got that 16. And so then I'm doing 16 times 10. 16 times 10 is 160, right? 16 times one with a zero. For number eight, two times 400, that's two times four times 100. 2 times 4 is 8 times 100. 8 times 100 is 800. For number 9, we have 5 times 5,000. That's 5 times 5 times 1,000. 5 times 5 is 25 times 1,000 is 25,000. For number 10, we have seven times 6,000. So that's seven times six times 1,000. Seven times six is 42 times 1,000. That's 42,000. All right, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope this helped you do your homework. Till the next time, keep learning and I will see you soon. Take care. Mm -hmm.